Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chaswais. Today we are at the next topic that is analysis of a complex position and we are going to discuss the concept of prophylaxis and a chain of combination. Firstly, this is the position with black to play. Do try to calculate first and then try to match with the answer. Prophylaxis generally is used for positional purposes means we try to see what the opponent is planning to do and then accordingly try to prevent it. So it's generally a preventive measure but here black uses prophylaxis as a means of tactics that we will see how and chain of combination means when a combination happens let's say a player takes a pawn after forcing a few moves and after that the opponent seeing it allows that and then another series of combination happens usually there is a gap of just a move between these two so that is chain of combination so we are going to see that in this example if we look at the position we realize that black is overall a bit more active than white the queen is near the white king but white has also managed some active play on the king side the center is going to be opened soon the major play is going to happen on the f4 and the e4 squares and black sees that there is a tactical point that after nf4 ef4 bf4 fe4 the e and the f file open and he sees that bishop c3 bc rook f4 queen f4 queen c3 check this is a very important line king goes to b1 and here he realizes that there is nothing to force things queen is already eyeing the d6 square and see he cannot force things over there and white is going to come rook c1 next move when, when the attack will just halt so here he finds the incredible move c seeing that position in mind that is the move c rook b8 so he finds the incredible move rook b8 point is clear see he wants b5 right now right and he loves the bishop to f4 so that d6 is hanging and bishop d6 becomes a very important variation that is the second point that he sees and that is where we see the chain of combination happening knight takes f4 e takes f4 bishop takes f4 and now f takes e4 now there are three lines you know firstly if knight takes e4 this is the worst choice after knight e4 just queen takes d2 and see one of the bishop hangs if bd2 then the f3 bishop goes in and any other move then the f4 bishop would be lost let's look at the move bishop takes e4 after b4 see this is the main we can say internal variation what happens in most cases is the internal line which one has seen and the opponent misses and which never happens in the game see that is the crux of the combination let's see here bishop c3 bc rook f4 queen f4 qc3 check kb1 if bishop c2 then bishop f5 this is quite simple because queen d2 or rook d2 then queen a1 check and mates next move after bb1 qb1 so let's come back to the position so kb1 and of course this white must have noted at this point when black played fe4 see now comes b5 and the point is not that simple here white has queen takes d6 the threat was c b takes c4 but now the rook hangs so comes c rook b6 lot of intermezzos actually and after qd8 check there comes king f7 the knight cannot be given with a check and soon queen into b6 has to be given up because if rook c1 then queen b4 check and black is winning let's go back to the game now so maybe white had missed this line white goes with the move bd6 this or else he must have calculated this as his main line but it's hard to believe that because see there is just rook f3 here the play is see, very easy for black actually after bishop b8 there is rook c3 so let's look at knight e4 first if knight e4 then queen takes a2 it's game over if knight f6 check the best option then bishop takes f6 g takes f6 and see both bf5 or queen a1 check king c2 and bishop f5 see the white queen would be lost after bd3 otherwise the move direct bf5 was also winning let's go back if bishop takes b8 then just see queen a1 check kc2 qb2 checkmates so let's go back to the game so now white played bishop b8 or the second possibility is that he missed the move rook c3 which i actually doubt rook takes c3 now in the game he tried with kb1 the point is simple if b takes c3 comes bishop c3 now qc2 queen a3 check 
KB1 and the very strong and simple bishop f5. See, there is no defense to the threat of e3. And like is of course winning. See, there is no defense over here. Let's go back to the main game. So white tried KB1 and here comes e3. We can make out the c8 bishop is now going to become very strong. F takes c, bishop f5 check, king a1 forced and here black goes rc2. The final blow, white chooses to resign simply because after queen takes f5, there is a mating couple of moves, bb2 check, kb1, rd2, just e4 and b4 checkmate. See the position was not very very difficult but it was indeed somewhat complex and we are at the starting of the chain of combination theme so it was an easier example so i hope you are finding these lessons useful and instructive do let me know in the comments below thanks for your time